Hi there. My name is Keith. I'm very happy to happy to be joined today by Eamon Jaffrey, the director of the new film, So I Married Myself. Eamon, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you doing, Keith? You know what? Not bad. Not bad at all. Thanks. Thank you for taking the time to, to sit down with me today. I appreciate it. Hopefully you're somebody, hopefully you're somewhere warm, because I know we were just getting out of this cold spell here in the nation's capital. So I'm uh, I'm excited to chat with you about, about your new film. But before we get to that, I want to know, what was it that inspired you to become a filmmaker? Oh, uh, well, it actually started with Ottawa. <laughs> okay. So um, I'm a Toronto transplant. I've been here for a long time. But uh, at some point, living here, I was frustrated by the city. And I decided to make a film that ended up being called The City That Fun Forgot where I looked at Ottawa's reputation for being boring and asked, what can we do about it? What do we want to do about it? And um, that started the filmmaking journey for me. Uh, it was the first film and first documentary I ever made. And I just thought that was the right medium for it. But it made me realize, oh, this is actually something I really enjoy and something that I want to continue to pursue. Excellent. Excellent. And now have most of the your projects been been short films? Yeah, I mean, I hope I can work myself up for a feature at some point. But yeah, I do. I do and I do enjoy short films. I mean, it's, uh, you know, they can live online, they're they're shareable. And they're a bit more manageable than mm -hmm. <laughs> feature films, obviously, although this one did take a while. Yeah. Well, let's 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 talk about your 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 most recent project. Uh, had the opportunity to see it. Of course, we're here to talk about it. So I married myself. Tell the good people what that film is about. Yeah, so it starts off uh, following Jen, who's actually from Ottawa, and it's on her journey to marry herself. So she's uh, single and divorced, and I'm mentioning that because that is a, a crucial part of the reason why she's marrying herself. Um, and so part of it is following her journey to her wedding day. And it actually, well, no, I won't give away how, how she proposes to herself, but that's in there as well. And then the rest of the documentary contextualizes self-marriage. So I talk to a marriage historian, a sex therapist, um, a woman that has coached uh, other women on how to self-marry. And I look at some statistics and I really just wanted to explain what this phenomenon is and, and where it came from. Mm -hmm. Now it's it's interesting again. Not giving, not trying to give too much away. But at the beginning of the film, there is a there's a piece where there's reactions that people have to to to, to somebody marrying themselves, and and a, a, a journalist goes on goes as far as to say, well, that's really weird. So I'm watching this, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, people might be onto something here in the sense of. Uh, I've, I've been a strong believer that you can't expect somebody to love you if you don't love yourself. And I think this is just a strong proclamation towards that, towards that end. So what was it about this story that really inspired you or this, 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 um, this belief, this movement, whatever you want to call it, that, that inspired you to make, uh, to make a film behind it? Yeah, I mean, I am attracted to stories about people who take, who are a bit unconventional or who do things non-traditionally. I come from a pretty conservative traditional background. And so I'm a shy person myself. So I, I, it's kind of like, it, I wouldn't necessarily put myself out there, but I love capturing other people who are. And I, I loved the whimsy of it and, and how it was unusual. So that was on, on the most superficial level. That's what attracted me to the, to this topic. Uh, because I had seen it in the media. And then I thought, oh, well, I'd love to follow someone doing this because I haven't seen a film capturing that. And I wanted to get behind the clickbait headlines and, and dig into it a little bit more. And then I think as I started working on it, I realized that, um, and maybe this was a subconscious thing I didn't realize when I started out, was that I, I, I also like the fact that here was one way that some women were pushing against that dominant narrative of, um, of being boxed in by, by being partnered with somebody or uh, perhaps by motherhood. It's just sort of this, this pushback against that. And, um, 
And yeah, and I think I appreciated that because that was something I was thinking about for myself at the time. Um, in my particular case, it was about motherhood. And so, yeah, so I, I, I learned a lot actually making the film and just hearing people about their different journeys and, and why they were doing this. Mm -hmm. Did you find it challenging to find different people who, who, um, who support that, uh, that, that mind frame? I mean, obviously you mentioned Jen at the beginning of it, but in terms of finding other people that have, that have uh, uh, gone on to, 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 to marry themselves, was that at all challenging finding some other people? Uh, oh yeah, for sure. Because it is quite a niche trend. And so I, when I started the film and I was looking for somebody to follow, I had put it out there on my network saying, Hey, is, <laughs> is anybody out there thinking of doing this? And of course, I think actually asking the question is what prompted some people to think, Oh yeah, I'd, I'd be interested in doing something like that. It's not, I don't think it's the kind of thing that most people are sitting around and go, yeah, let, let me do this. Not most people, but um and so yeah so it was definitely tricky and then with uh, I was going to be following somebody else who I found through my networks um and then she wasn't able to proceed and so then I <laughs> then I started looking again and I met Jen uh through a local women's uh foundation I guess you could call it um and and she it was the same thing for her she said oh that sounds interesting I want I want to do that. <laughs> and so that's how it all started. Okay. Okay. Fair. Now, in terms of the, the film itself, um, I'm not sure how many people have seen it. I have, have you been able to generate a bit of a response? Like I'm interested in terms of like, what's the, what's the feedback that you've been getting for, for it uh, from, from the yeah. film so far? Yeah. Uh, it's screened locally twice so far. So that's been wonderful. The first screening I couldn't go to, but I heard, great things and this was at digi 60s community shorts um okay. the, their community shorts program and yeah so people uh, people really enjoyed it and i think what is what i've heard a couple of times now is the appreciation for the balanced perspective that it's not a film that has a one-sided all positive view of self-marriage but that i show the other side Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so there's Digi60 and there's also Dark's a Resolution Program. I think that was just a couple of weeks ago. Okay. And um, yeah, I definitely had people come up to me and say they, 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 I guess nobody knows what to expect until they watch it. And then, and then they go, oh, well, that's interesting. It really made them, um, I think, appreciate the topic and, and the themes that were covered. Well, one of the things I have to commend you for is I think the film is well made. I think you've definitely done your research in terms of using mul a multitude of sources to bring in like different stats and 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 generate a conversation, which in all honesty, any good doc does. So and I and just from a filmmaking standpoint, I I, I very much enjoyed it. Now, for um for people in the in the uh the the Ottawa area, you have a special screening coming up next week. Would you like to tell the people about it? Yeah, so it's going to be on February 13th, which was specially selected because it is Palentine's Day, sometimes called Galentine's Day, but this is the gender inc inclusive term, um, you know, which is a day that is an alternative to Valentine's Day. It's an alternative to focusing on romantic love between couples. So I thought that was perfect. I wanted to do it on that day. And it's being shown at the Dark Micro Cinema, which is uh, somewhat of a new space in case people haven't heard of it, but it's basically inside Arts Court. Um, and uh, the doors open at 6.30 p.m. Um, the film starts at seven. And then after the film, we're going to have a self-love ceremony for anyone that's interested, or if you just want to watch, you can do that too. And then after that, we'll have a mini reception with food and drinks. And so I'm um, very grateful to be able to do this. We have several sponsors that are on board as well, including David's Tea. Um, oh, of course, I shouldn't. <laughs> no, I'm forgetting everybody's names. Um, Hush and Harlow, uh, Subscribe Zine Press. Uh, there's, there's several sponsors. I am not able to list them all right now, but, um, but it wouldn't be possible without, without their support. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I think, you know, um, having spoken to a lot of emerging filmmakers in, 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 in this area and abroad, 
what a what a wonderful feeling not only to get your film completed but then to be able to watch it with an audience so so congratulations on that and we will again put all of the information on where people can check out the uh, the the screening with uh, with this piece um i don't want to i don't want to uh, hold you up for too long but i do want to have a little bit of fun rapid fire with you before i let you go okay <laughs> yeah okay all right now uh Hey man, my first question for you is what is your favorite movie of all time? Oh, of all time. Too many to pick, but uh, night give me of like, the even if you want to do it. Good. Sorry, which yeah, one? Yeah. Night of the Hunter is Night of the Hunter. Film. I was going to say, even and if you want to give me a top three. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Okay, yeah, Vertigo. Love Vertigo too. Yeah. Okay. How about <laughs> this? Where's there a film that you saw that, that struck you and said to yourself, this is what I want to do? Was there a film that 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 you saw that inspired you to get the to get the the, the balls rolling on your filmmaking mm. career? No, I just consumed a lot of television and movies <laughs> growing up, and it was everything. I just, okay. I just loved it. I, anything Hollywood, it's like yes, like all day long. What's the TV guide schedule for <laughs> Entertainment okay. Tonight and all those TV shows? I just I was a voracious consumer of all of it. <laughs> nice. Okay, we 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 started off talking about. Ottawa, you know, a little more low key, we'll say, than a lot of other places. What is one of your favorite things to do here in the nation's capital? Mm, favorite things. Um, I love the the neighborhoods. I love going to, you know, it's there's it isn't one downtown, right? It's these like little neighborhoods that make up the that, that add to the charm of the city. So it's like, okay, one weekend go to Hintonburg, another weekend go to Chinatown, and I appreciate it all the more so now that I've moved to Gatineau as well, and so I'm, I, I no longer live in the Byward Market, and so it 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 feels fun because I'm not that far, but. Now I'm a little bit of an outsider to the city. And so, yeah, I, I, I love the charm of Ottawa's neighborhoods. Excellent. One of the things we can say is you are not boring. So what is one of the things that makes you exciting? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, one of the things. That, I mean, I think the fact that I make these films and sometimes I, I can't help myself. I just... It makes no financial sense, but I will, I will just go for it and um, not to give it away. But in this film, there is a moment where we went to Las Vegas and so to, to film part of it. And it's ridiculous, makes no logical sense, but I am so much happier for having done it because it, it works well in the film. You got to go where the work takes you. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. um, looking in the last question, looking in the crystal ball. What is what is the dream for yourself? Oh my god, these questions are so hard. <laughs> They're not <laughs> though. <rapid> fire. <laughs> They're not. There's no the way dream. you haven't thought about that. The big dream for myself. There's no oh. way you haven't I thought mean, I about do, that. I oh, I would love to make a feature, and I would love to have it on on Netflix or Crave or um, some kind of streaming platform. Like I want it out there. Or in a cinema, just saying, they're still in around. In a cinema, yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> you yeah. got to put these things out into the universe. That's all oh, I'm totally. saying. Oh, totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all Definitely. I'm saying. All right, yeah. well, listen, it has been an absolute pleasure speaking with you. Again, the uh, the film is, so I married myself. I like it. Um, I like it, I like the movie, and I, and I really appreciated chatting with you. So thanks again so much for the time, and sincerely wish you all of the best with it. And I hope as many people who, who, who can make it out, go out next week, the 13th, Palentine's Day, I believe you said. Palentine's Day and knock on wood, no storm. It's a totally normal winter day. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, you take care and all the best. Thank you so much.